Excellencies, distinguished participants and friends, greetings to you all and welcome from wherever you are connecting around the world. Thank you for participating in the 14th International Conference on Community-Based Adaptation to Climate Change, the first to take place entirely online. Bhutan, in our capacity as the chair of the least developed countries group, is honored to host the final closing plenary session. During the last three days, we have seen over 400 people take part in over, from over 30 countries in over 30 different uh, dialogues and capacity building sessions. They have exchanged hundreds of written messages about the central challenges of community-based adaptation. We have heard speakers from over 30 countries share their perspectives, representatives of community-based organizations shared the floor with national government policy makers, academy, academics and development partners. It is also important that messages coming out of the discussions at this conference are heard and recognized at the highest levels. These messages represent the perspectives of the people working to build resilience every day and communities at greatest risk of climate change impacts but who have done the least to cause the problem. The conference's response policy theme highlighted the role of grassroots movements and organizations in bringing local knowledge into policy making process and the positive impact inclusivity can have. Their responses to COVID-19 demonstrate how resourceful communities can be and how much we can learn from them. Local resourcefulness is exactly why we need to scale up climate finance significantly. Finding the institutions in each country who truly understand local contexts and communities while having the capacity to deliver funds towards local priorities. At CBA 14, we also heard the challenges faced by young people and the need for greater youth inclusion in decision making from local right through to international level. We welcome the establishment of a youth adaptation network by the Global Commission for Adaptation during this conference. I was also greatly encouraged to see the issues of gender and monitoring, evaluation and learning repeatedly raised and discussed. It is clear that more work is needed to ensure that we can evaluate and learn from our collective climate adaptation experiences. During a session led by partners of LDC Initiative for Effective Adaptation and Resilience, the challenge of establishing deep international networks for learning from adaptation programs were made clear. The least developed countries group will endeavor to use Life AR to lead the way in creating South-South learning networks that can make our path to resilient economies by 2050 smoother. In closing, I would like to thank the partners who have made this online CBA 14 possible. Irish Aid, the Climate Justice Resilience Fund, the Global Resilience Partnership, Care International, Practical Action, the International Institute for Environment and Development, BRAC International, and the Global Commission on Adaptation. We call on development partners and contributors, as well as our colleagues across the least developed countries to fully engage with the energy, vision and ideas of this vibrant community of practice. We hope that CBA can trigger widespread engagement and productive partnership across the whole of society so that we can create a prosperous and socially just future for all. Between now and COP26, there are several events taking place, including the Global Adaptation Summit, Gobi Shona Online, and CBA 15 in Bangladesh. These events will offer the chance to continue the conversation we began here and for development partners to engage closely with the communities and their representatives. We look forward to seeing and working with you all over the year ahead. Thank you.